Hello Year 11 and parents and carers and welcome to this short recording, hopefully giving you some um, clarity, some updates on GCSEs and other qualifications that will be awarded later on in this academic year. Now we've known for some time that you will not have the opportunity to, to sit your exams and we now know instead what will happen is teachers will be asked to submit grades for you. I think it's important that you realise that your teacher will assess the standard that you are performing at your teachers not being asked to estimate how you might have um, performed or achieved if you had had the opportunity to sit the exams. Now what this means for us is that we are going to gather evidence that we will use to support the grade that we submit for you um, later on in the year in June when we submit those grades and I think this is important that you know that we will be collating evidence that supports the grades that we give. Now this evidence um, will come to you as, as an overview and each of your subject teachers and your subject leaders will put together the evidence that we will be using to support those grades so bear with us for that that will that will come to you I wanted to share with you some ideas about how um, the, some of your qualifications are going to be um, awarded and what the evidence will be for those so first of all I'd like us to have a look at English and uh, I'm letting you know here that you will have planned assessments now th this is nothing unusual this is what we would do all of the time in school uh, business as usual for us where we would assess you all often and we would look at specific skills or specific areas and we would have focused assessments on those so that's what will come over the next few weeks to help us gather that evidence we can also use any previous data and, and by this I mean assessments that you've already completed. Now I'm going to say a little bit more about trial exams in, in the next few slides but I want you to just realise and appreciate that we have information about you already, we have um, work that you've already done and if we feel that that evidence will support the grade that we are submitting for you then that's what we can put forwards as well but again we will share all of the evidence with you that we are going to submit. Now for art, we've known for, for quite a while that you would not sit your final exam in art and I know that you've all been working really hard on your portfolios and it's that portfolio that will be your assessment. So your art GCSE is 100% assessed on your portfolio. So we need to keep working on those and we need to make sure that when they do come to be assessed finally, that um, your art teachers have that evidence in your portfolios to support those grades. So keep working with them. You've done a brilliant job and, and keep, keep going with that. Now, I'm sure you have lots of questions and, I, and I've tried to preempt a few throughout this presentation that perhaps I can um, answer for you and um, hopefully give you a bit more clarity. First question I'm thinking that you would have is this, what, what if we haven't covered everything because of the disruption that we've had in both years 10 and year 11, you know, we're very conscious that you, you've missed time in school. Well, this is the reason why exams aren't going ahead, because schools across the country have not covered the content of everything. And also different schools will have covered different areas. So they can't just, the exam boards can't just change the exam to fit because everybody will have done di different elements. So please try not to worry ab about this too much. You're not expected to have covered all of the content. I have just said, we know that that hasn't happened. Um, and your teachers and your subject leaders will be making some lists of what you have covered and what you haven't so that we can make sure you've covered enough to progress onto the next stage of your education. And that's really important that when you take those next steps, you have the qualification and you have the skill that you need to progress. Moving on. Another question, will my grade be decided by just my teacher? Well, what I will tell you is that your teacher or teachers will review the evidence that they have for you. That will be their job to do that. But then what will happen is teachers will standardise within departments. So let's take English, for example. The English teachers will all get together with everybody's work and they will look through that work and make sure that if one student is having a suggested grade of a five, it's the same quality of work that another student um, has as well. And so we'll make sure that the evidence for every student is right. 
There will also be a process of this standardisation across the whole school and this will involve, involve your subject leaders and also the senior leadership team so we can just really quality assure that that process is, is right and correct. So to begin with, your teacher will be looking at your work but then there is a much wider team to make sure that that's all very fair. Will my trial exam results be used towards my grade? Something I referenced a few, a few slides ago. Now, let's say, for example, in your trial exam that you sat in December, you did an amazing job and you performed particularly well. Why wouldn't we use that as part of your evidence? Why wouldn't we use that to support the grade that we're giving to you? On the other hand, if you didn't perform as well as you'd hoped, maybe you came in for those trial exams because you, if you're feeling under the weather, you're feeling really unwell, you wanted to come in and have that experience, you wanted to make sure that, that you had had the opportunity to, to, to have that exam stress or pressure. And I know that some of you have been feeling a bit under the weather and you did come in to make the effort for those. If we feel that it doesn't support a grade for you, then we won't use your trial exams as evidence. So we really do have the opportunity here to make sure that your grades are, are well evidenced, well supported, but we absolutely would not want to disadvantage any of you. Now, another question that I, I can imagine is on your mind is this of fairness. And a key, a key underlining question here is, will Prenton be more generous or more harsh than other schools? You know that when we give you a, a grade, a student in another school should have the same standard as you. And I really want you to know here that all schools follow exactly the same guidance. We all have to read from the same page. We all have to follow the guidance and the rules. And this isn't you. This is something that we have to do every year. All schools are subject to the same quality assurance as well. And what that means is that the exam boards will tell schools the process that they expect them to go through. And that will be checked as well. We have to make sure that we're all doing exactly the same so that everything is fair. Also remember that judgments will be evidence based. It's not just, well, I think that student should maybe get a grade five, or maybe a six. There's, there's no there's no toing and froing between grades it's all about the evidence that we have so we can be sure that if you achieve, receive a grade five six seven whatever your grade might be that it has been fair and that the evidence is there to back that grade up you have right through this process of, of course you do and i want us to just think about the protection that you have in this process and it's important that you know that you have opportunity to tell us about any relevant context. Now, what I mean about this is it could be that um, you have a special educational need that you need to make sure that has been applied during the work that we will use for your evidence. There could be other circumstances that you need to tell us about. So if you feel that that falls into um, a context for you, you need to let your teachers know and they can make those relevant adjustments there. So you do have that protection. Also remember that we will share with you the evidence that's been used to support your grade. So you will have the knowledge of what pieces of work we are using and you can be happy that we are doing everything that we can to support the grade that we will be um, submitting for you. What do you do if you're still unhappy with your grade? Now, if on results day you're unhappy with your grade and it's because you realise you didn't really work that hard for it, um, you, you didn't do very much, you didn't really listen to your teachers, you, you didn't really try, then there's not very much we can do about that. However, if you are unhappy because you feel that something's not right, you can appeal. And what you need to do then is you need to ask the school to check that we didn't make an error, to check that there wasn't an administrative error um, and something's been keyed incorrectly or, or something's been noted down wrong. That would be the first check. If you are still unhappy after that, you can ask the school to contact the exam board who will then review the process that we've gone through as a school. They'll also check at about what evidence we have for you and then they will make a decision. Now it's really important that you understand that if 
you were to ask for an appeal, results can go up, they can stay exactly the same, which is what generally happens, or they can go down. Now, it, it's really important that, that you have that. And I think it's, a, it's key to flag to you at this point as well that teachers are in the best position to submit grades for the students that they teach. And we will do everything we can to make sure that we submit the, the, the correct grade for you, the grade that supports the progress that you've made up to now through your time at Prenton and supports where you are now as a student. Another question you may have, when will year 11 leave school? It feels a bit strange as, as you, you've spent so much time away from school, but I'm sure you're thinking about where, when do we finish? When, when will we be able to, to, to leave Prenton? Unfortunately, we're still awaiting guidance about this when you can officially finish school. I can tell you that the deadline for us to submit your grades is the 18th of June, but we haven't yet had the information, the guidance about what happens next. Now, even though the deadline for us to submit grades is the 18th of June, that's not the deadline for you to finish your work. Your work will have to be finished before that for your teachers to be able to assess and to make sure they have the evidence and to make sure that you've all signed your declarations to say that this was my own work. I've, I've, I've not copied something from, from the internet. I've not had um, excessive help from my auntie who's a, who's a maths teacher and completed this for me. So it's really important that we do recognise that the 18th of June is the deadline for us to submit your grades, not the deadline for your work. When will you get your results? Well, your results will be issued to you on the 12th of August, which is earlier than, than usual, which will give you more time then to think about your next steps and what you need to do following uh, results day. Okay, so let's just summarise some key points for you moving forward. You have to keep going. You've worked really hard since the moment you walk through the doors at Prenton um, and, and you're nearly there. Keep going, keep working hard, keep doing what you've been doing. Be patient with us. We have to wait for details to be confirmed for each subject and that needs to come from the exam board. And there's something else you have to be patient with as well. We're not allowed to tell you the grade that we're submitting for you. We can tell you the evidence that we're going to use, but we can't tell you the grade that we're submitting. So please don't ask us. It makes us um, feel feel really terrible that we can't tell you that, but but that's the guidance, that, that, that's what we have to do and um, we'll make sure that we adhere to that. What can you do? Well, you must keep attending your lessons. You must work hard. This is your GCSE year. You need to work hard. You're nearly there and you need to follow the advice and instructions from your teachers. That, that really does go without saying. We are in this profession to support students and to make sure that you get exactly what you deserve and we want to submit the best grades possible for you. Make sure you ask for help. If you're unsure about something, if you're stuck, please ask for help. That's what we're here for. We want to make sure we can support you however we can. And finally, trust us, we've looked out for you ever since you came to Prenton. We want the best for you. Trust that we will do what we need to do to make sure that you are supported through this final stage of your GCSEs and your qualifications. Be patient, trust us, and we will do our absolute best for you. Thank you. Thank you.